Good morning, ladies. How's everybody this morning? Okay, well, good morning to you. I showered, but don't judge my hair. So I am um, just doing this real quick here, and then I got a buzz to go pick up my um, another prescription to try to get me feeling better. Because to say I'm over it is like the least that I could say. So um, my voodoo gal that I went to yesterday, I do feel maybe a smidge not um, as dusty. This is the weird, this is, but this is how my brain feels. It's dusty. I can't explain it. It's the weirdest thing. Plus my sinus stuff. But I feel a little less dusty today, but I'm still stuffy and don't feel good. So anyway, so I'm going to pick up this prescription. It has to be a miracle. It has to be because I'm so over it, you guys. I'm so over it. So I, I hate talking about it. I hate complaining about it. Like I'm, I don't like to complain and I feel like that's all I do because I feel like doo-doo. So uh, it's going to be, it's going to be good today. I'm going to go pick that up. And it's going to be, it's going to be a better day tomorrow. So what I keep telling myself. Good morning, girls. Kylie, thanks for being here with me. Um, hopefully you're having a busier day at work. Keep the time of trucking, right? Um, and Dorothy, good morning to you. You're probably working and watching all at the same time. So that's perfect, you guys. So this is, uh, let me just give you a rundown of the show today. I'm going to try not to be on here too long because like I said, I got to go to Carney, and I knew I had something else this afternoon um, and I got to meet our landscaper at one. So I literally have got to hurry here. <laughs> This is me. This is my daily life. It's just a constant shit. I was supposed to be somewhere. Anyway, that's just how I roll. Hot mess express. Uh, so, but today, you guys, I am going to show you. We got more Levita. We restocked our skincare. So I have a bit face. It's a bare face. I just washed my face in um, my sink. I didn't want to take you guys over there and do that. So I just did that before I hopped on here. So completely bare. I don't have any skincare on. I'm going to put that on with you guys this morning. And um, so we're going to go over our Levito and all the new stuff because I brought in so many products with that. So I'm going to show you that. And then I'm going to do a fast five minute face. I'm just going to show you. I learned a new foundation trick and you guys have got to try it. It's so, it like make it makes a world of difference on your um, application of your foundation. And then just, we got some new blush and we got a new lip color. And so I'm gonna show you those things and I'm not gonna do any eyes today just because um, I kinda just wanna do a foundation and um, a basic face for you, like a fast face if you are in a hurry. Okay, so let's start. Um, yes, and Kylie, I went to the store right after I dropped Axe off at school this morning. So I already got that done, so yay me, got that done. Um, and I'm a, I have, you guys, this week just kind of went to hell in the handbasket, honestly. Um, like I had all these huge plans for getting all this stuff done. And then Lee's grandma passed away. So we have all that this week too. So that starts today, like right after I get the kids at school tonight and then most of all day tomorrow. So that kind of, um, put a wrench in my, my getting stuff done, but that's okay. It's okay. That's where I need to be. All right. So this is the cleanser, you guys, that, um, I put on this morning and, all right, it comes in a box like this. So let me get this up here. I put the wrong thing in first. Dun, dun, dun. Kylie, there's so many more of these now. I love it. Okay, facial cleanser. I hope this is the cleanser. Okay, so here's the scoop, you guys. I brought in, now we have two different kinds of cleansers. Here's the difference. This is the main difference. And if you guys want to, you can, on the app, the girls are so good um, about putting the information on there. I think Kylie did this one and she loaded up all the details on um, our cleanser. The difference is I've been using Purify. Uh, when I first brought in this line, I feel like mo the majority of us are middle age or a little bit older and want, um, kind of um, anti-aging properties versus uh, like younger kids with acne and those kind of things. So I tried to focus on more the anti-aging versions of these products. This next round that I brought in, I did bring in the hydrating as well. Just because you guys, it is for those people who have drier skin, which a lot of us are getting that way. Summertime, everything seems to dry out. So I did bring in the hydrating version. Okay, so that is just for somebody who does have just a little bit drier skin um, and isn't worried necessarily about mature skin as much. So those are the two differences. So if you're not sure where to start, are you dry? If you're dry, I want you to go with the hydrating. Okay, let's just start there. I am a little bit more oily. However, I have to say, since I've been using this, you guys, I have not been oily at all. No joke, um, especially this last month. I feel like it's now finally like starting to work. I probably used it 
Kylie, how long do you think I've used it? Because I started just a sample before we brought it into the store. I wanted to make sure we liked it. So I want to say I've probably been doing it at least two and a half months is my guess um, that I've been using the products. So you're going to start with your cleanser and it is, it smells heavenly guys. This is the stuff that I literally, when I get home, I run to my bathroom, I take off all my makeup and I put on my skincare because it just feels so good. It smells good. And I've had other people say that to me too. It's almost like um, a spa-ish feeling. Okay. Kind of, um, yeah, kind of spy and just fresh. All right. So this is the cleanser. Okay. So you want to grab that either in hydrating or purifying. So hydrating, no, purifying is up. That's one I use again, more for anti-aging and oily skin. All right. If you're drier, don't let this confuse you, you guys. I know it's a little confusing, but this one up is, um, is now for the dry skin. Okay, so you've got a dry cleanser and you have an oily cleanser. Purifying is for oily, hydrating is for dry. Okay, first step, your cleanser. Now, you, I always take my makeup off first. You don't necessarily, this says it removes your makeup. I just have a weird, I just have to take my makeup off first before I cleanse my face. That's just kind of how anal I am about my face, but you don't necessarily have to do this. This should take off your makeup as well. Okay, next up is this toner. All right, so this one is... Dorothy, did you get any of these products? I can't remember, honestly, honey, if you did. I would love to hear your takeaway. You can stick it in the, uh, down in the comments if you want to. I'd love to hear if you tried it. I can't remember if you did or not. So the next step you're gonna do is this is a toner. Now, again, here we go. We have, have all these boxes, just a minute here. Okay, here we go. So same situation, you have a dry, hydrating toner for the dry skin people. And then the oily to anti-aging version is the purifying version that I've been using. Okay. So, um, let's see here. I do a double cleanse. I use oil based cleanser. Yes. That's what I do too. Kylie. Good morning, Miss Mary. How are you today? Thanks for hopping on. Are you working? To, oops. I missed my cotton ball here. Um, you're working. I'm sure you're sitting here. Oh my gosh. I can't <laughs> bad shot. <laughs> Oh, but that's the kind of day it's going to be. Okay. Anyway, um, so when you do this, try to hit your cotton ball and, um, this is just kind of a foamy little toner and you literally just put it on with your cotton ball. Try to be nice to your skin and be soft and gentle. I know when I get in a hurry, I kind of like just go fast. Um, but so just like, so you're going to come around and just kind of cover your face. This does help with like brown spots, um, discoloration, redness too. You guys, my mom, for whatever reason, she gets super, especially when she gets hot and stressed out and has a lot of anxiety, she gets really red. Her chest is super red. Her cheeks get really red. She has been using this stuff everywhere and she says that it has helped. She does not get as red as she used to. So that's what it's for is that discoloration and um, kind of unevenness of our skin. So that's why you want to use a toner. Plus it just feels literally amazing. It's just like clean and crisp and um, moisturizing kind of and tingly. I love it. It's good. Okay, so, okay, Dorothy, we got to get you go, go. Yeah, Kylie, you like that. You know where I was going with that. <laughs> oh, Amanda's head is just never probably in the right place. Okay, anyway, so that's that. All right, so that's step number two. Number three. Now, you are going to, I think, I think, I think we're out of this in the big size. And I cannot reorder it either. It's sold out. So I have it on reorder when it comes back, but it's sold out. So you're going to get this in a smaller version. So we have this size, the 10 ounce size. That's what I just clicked on. Um, yes, get rid of those, Mary. I know. Roseanne, good morning to you, sugar pie. Yes, I am headed to Carney to pick up another prescription, Roseanne, here in a little bit. I know you've been keeping such good tabs on me. Uh, so it's going to do the trick. Every say a prayer. It's going to do the trick. It's going to do the trick. Okay, so, um, but this, you guys, I do not put this on during the day. Uh, again, where I'm a little bit more oily, I, although I do feel like it sinks in and it'd probably be fine, I just do it at nighttime. Um, so this is great though, and you can see how much I use. I use a lot of it at night. I do the whole chest and up, and I just literally slather my face in it. And I let this sit for five, 10 minutes before I put on my lotion, because I just want it to give it a minute to set before I'm rubbing it around um, with something else. Okay, so this 10 ounce size is what we've got in. So go ahead and try that. It's just a, it's a cute little bottle. Honestly, it's really cute. Look how cute he is. So it's a good little test or two or a good little travel size as well. So, um, you know what I wish they would do in this brand is make everything travel size because when I went to Nashville, I couldn't take it because I didn't want to take all the glass bottles and I already have weight issues. Um, and so I couldn't take it. I was literally so excited to get home. 
to all of it because I missed it. Um, okay, so then after you do that for daytime, these are mine, so if they look nasty, that's because they've been on my counter. All right, so uh, you're going to do the old tight. Now, you guys, again, we do have a few new products in these options, so I will go over them really quick, but I want you to know, like, there are a few new ones that will pop up when you're looking for it, okay? Um, well, heck. Oh, are we out of this one? Shoot, I think we're out of this one. We are out of this one. Okay, back the truck up. I didn't get this one again because um, it was all out and she recommended a different one. So I, that, yes, it's all coming back to me now. Um, There's just so much to keep up with you guys. Okay, age away hydrating. All right, that, so that's the next one that I'm gonna get. And I do think I brought it. Did I bring it? Yes, I did. Age away, no, I did not. Hold on, I got lots of boxes over here. No. Nope. Not that one either. Okay, I might not have grabbed that one. I tried to grab everything, but I wasn't sure. So there are two different age. Um, this is age away replenishing cream. So this again is for the anti-age person who's worried about anti-aging and more oily. Okay, age away replenishing cream. Um, then, age. I, sorry, it was on the wrong one. You guys, this is confusing. Okay, here it is. Age away replenishing cream. This is up again. This is for the oily and the anti-aging gal, okay? Now, it looks the same as these. I'm not gonna take it out. Looks the same size, and you guys, again, I've been using this for at least two months on these products of my own, okay? And at least, I think it's at least two and a half, honestly. And so that's all I've used. And you guys, I lather it up, okay? I probably use way too much, if we're gonna be honest. So my point is, is they last you a while. Okay, so if you are more on the dry side now, you guys, I know Kylie, oh my God, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna keep telling myself that. Okay, Age Away Hydrating Cream. I don't have that one here to show you guys. I did not grab that one. However, it is a little bit more yellow color and it is for you people who are um, a little bit more dry, okay? It's still good for anti-aging because it's called Age Away, but the hydrating one is the one you want if you're drier. Okay, so in a nutshell, if you're super confused, if it says purifying, that's for oily. If it says hydrating, that's for dry. And that's how you need to go by, okay? That'll, I think, help help all of you decide on that one. Okay, so I'm gonna put on my, uh, my daytime moisturizer here then. And when I do this, you guys, this is how I do it. I just do a few dots and I just try to rub gently. And that's just kind of how I roll like so. Okay, come around, get all the things. Get all the things, girls, because we want those wrinkles to go away. And I really, I have noticed a difference in my skin. I really, really have. I'm not just telling you that. You guys, when it comes to stuff, I make sure it's good before I bring it into you. I really do. Because I, again, it's not cheap. Any of this stuff. Oh my gosh, got it in my hair. <laughs> Kylie. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Um. Yes. You, Kylie too. My new car drives way faster than my old one. And I have got to stop. Like, I don't know why. That thing just zoom zooms. And that's not what Amanda needs. Not what Amanda needs. Um, okay, so this is Renewal Neck Cream. We're going to do that one next. Um, Sherry, hi, good morning, Sherry. No, these do not have sunscreen in them. That is a fantastic question. I asked my rep about that. This particular line does not have to offer sunscreen, and that really makes me sad because I am in the same boat as you. I'm looking for a sunscreen. I, to be honest, I left this out. Um, I was, if anybody asked, I was going to show you. This is what I've been using. Um, this is my first bottle though. I can't say 100% love it. I don't not like it though. Um, I got this on Amazon, which I don't love buying beauty products off of there because you don't know if it's legit either, but I needed something. And so I just grabbed it and I checked this on my Yucca app to make sure it was good sunscreen. Um, and so this is what I've been using, but I truly need to find something that I love and I haven't yet, but as soon as I do, I will put it out there for you guys. But this one isn't bad, Sherry. I, I mean, I would get it again if I don't find anything else, if that makes sense. Okay, so back to the, I have the neck cream up. Okay, I know, Sherry, I know. But you know what, neck cream or sunscreen's tricky because you have to be kind of careful of the products in there and it's hard when you are watching your products and things, it's hard to make a good one. And so I don't know if they're kind of working on it because this is kind of a newer line so or a newer brand. So I don't know if it'll be down the pipeline. I'm guessing it will be. Um, okay, now you see what I just did and I did it without even telling you guys. So when you do your neck and your chest, you want to come down to your boobs, okay? Get all, get all the things covered up and bring it up. 
And tr- try not to go down because of gravity. You want to go up with everything, but make sure you're, you know, get all the sides and everything. And then you're going to put it on your hands. So don't waste any of this good stuff. This is just, um, I do it without even thinking about it. You just rub it in. Okay. So you're not wasting anything. So that was the renewal neck cream. You do that morning and night. Yes, yes, yes. Super important. Your neck ages you just as much as your face. I promise you. And so does your hands. Okay. Ah, uh, no, Sherry, that would have been nice all in one. I hear you, sister. All in one is the way to go. But yeah, no, I'm sorry. It's the only downfall that I know of. Only one, I swear, the only one. Okay, next up is this fantastic eye cream. And you guys, when I talk about this eye cream, I'm telling you, do you see these bags here? Okay, because I know I have them. But you got to consider, I have no open sinuses at the moment. So um, so that is going to make these big old bags, okay? However, if I was not using this, I, these suckers would be like, because they, before I used this stuff, they were like this, okay? And so I've been using this, and they are so, so much better than they could be. I swear to you guys. Okay, so you just do a little dot on your ring finger. You're going to come up here, and I just kind of um, stick it around in my eye area. You want to make sure you're doing your crow's feet over here too, and it's best to pat. Okay, patting is the best, okay? So you get all the things in there. And uh, just don't forget the sides because I've got those and I think it's just from smiling all the time. But, you know, that's all right. That's our personalities and that comes through in our, our little wrinkles too, which is fine. Um, but just to contain them a little bit, I stick this stuff on. So this is a deep puffer. It's, um, uh, it helps with redness as well. Uh, and again, all this is in the description that the girls put in there on the app. So make sure you hop over there if you want to read any more about this, okay? And it's all vegan. It's all um, organic. It's not tested on animals. It's, it's all the good things, you guys, I promise. I have done my research. I really, really have. Okay. Then what did I not cover? Okay, I think there's, oh, nope, there's none of that one left. Okay, so we're gonna talk about night stuff now. So that was my day routine. Let's take it to the nighttime. Nighttime, you're gonna do your cleanser. Um, you're gonna do your cleanser. You're going to do your toner. And then you're going to do the serum, okay, which was in that yellow little container, this guy. You're gonna do that. Then you're gonna put on your anti-aging night cream. Okay, and so I have that one up right here, and this is the one that I've been using right there. Um, it is maybe a little bit, what are you doing, dog? I don't know. Um, a little bit thicker, and uh, again, just smells heavenly. It's it's that um, spa-like smell. Like, it feels like botanically good. Bernie is, I don't know what he's doing over there, but it ain't good. Okay, um, so this is a nighttime option, and then, is that the only nighttime? Let me look. Let me look, make sure I don't forget anything. Yes, this is the nighttime. Okay, and I did just get this one because I think at nighttime, this is heavy enough even if you're dry, okay? It's good for everybody. So grab that one for the nighttime. We've got that one option. All right, now let's talk about some new stuff. So this is things that I have not tried yet. However, I'm going to because I brought one home for myself. Um, that is supposed to help with, okay, because I can't breathe through my nose, um, I breathe through my mouth, obviously, so that I'm alive. And this is what she recommended for um, to put on my lips at night. They used to have a lip balm type thing, but they don't make it anymore. And they kind of went to this line instead that is more for the whole body, but does go on your lips as well. So it is called Skin Balm. And uh, it is kind of, let's just open it up because I haven't played with it yet. Oh, look at this cute little bottle. That's adorable. Uh, and so it is... Let me see here. Okay. Oh, it's like a little bit kind of balmy. Surprise. It's called skin balm. Okay. So it does have that kind of little bit heavier, kind of like um, an oil base probably to it. But yeah, this is good on any irritated skin too. So if you have a skin rash, maybe you have, I think it's called, is it called eczema, you guys, where you get the red stuff on your arms. That would be terrible. Um, something like this is great for stuff like that. Okay, so I'm going to be trying it on my lips. That's my plan. And, um, oh, golly. But um, that is, this is a playlist, is it? Yes. But this is um, definitely what you guys want to try um, if you have the dry lips or any dry skin patches or your face is super dry too. You can always use something like heavier like this at nighttime. So this is brand spanking new. I have not tried it yet. I'm leaving it out because I'm trying it tonight. Okay, and then... Yeah, there you go, Kylie. Have you checked it on, on the app, on the Yucca app? You need to because I don't have high hopes for Olay, but check it out. See what you think. <laughs> okay, 
this is for pimples. Everybody needs that at one point or another. And I know Miss Atley, my little daughter, she does pretty good, really, honestly, for being a teenager. But this is a clarifying treatment. So if you do have one little pimple somewhere, you just dot this on and it'll dry it up. Okay, so this is not for all over your face. This is just a certain area if you've got a pimple or something that you want to get rid of. Okay, so that is a new product as well. Super exciting. Okay, then we do have a new hand cream as well. Now, I only brought one for you guys to see because uh, I didn't want to hold them all here, but th there are three, four different kinds, I do believe. And uh, they, I just thought they'd be great if you need something in your purse, in your car, um, again at night, it would be a good habit to go ahead and put on some hand cream before we hit the hay. Okay, so we added that into the lineup this round as well. Um, so there's four different kinds and that is all up on the app and in this little um, shopping segment here. Okay, so I think I got through everything. If you guys have any questions on um, the skincare themselves, I want you to reach out to me. Um, you can do it personally or Jen will send you the messages. Jen handles all of our messages, so um, she's great and we'll send it my way. But um, you can reach out to me personally too because I, I want to be the one to answer your questions on all this stuff because I know it's kind of confusing and I'm the one who's researched it the most and I get all weird and geeky about this kind of thing. So... Let's talk about masks though before I let you we go to uh, makeup. I'm a mask junkie. You guys know this. If you see me on Sundays on stories, I usually have a mask on. I call it self-care Sunday um, when I can be home and doing that. We have baseball right now, so I haven't got much of that in. But when I can, I do. And it really does make a difference, you guys, um, just to kind of keep your skin fresh for a day and just to kind of exfoliate, get the dead junk off, the dead skin, all that junk, um, and just make it nice and soft and smooth that way. So what I usually do is I use this two-in-one first. Um, okay, and this is the this is the most recommended one from the company. Okay, um, is what my rep explained to me. So there was one that was for redness and things. It was like a moisture antioxidant something. They don't make that one anymore either. So that they've condensed it into this guy. So if you were waiting for that to restock, I tried, I could not get it. Um, this is the one you want, she says. Okay, uh, so this is a two in one purifying and exfoliator. So you wanna do this one first. Exfoliation means it is maybe a little bit rougher and that is going to exfoliate all that dead junk, all the skin, and this is what makes your face smooth is after you exfoliate. Okay, so you're gonna wanna do that one first. And I leave it on, hi, Miss Margie, good morning. That's okay, don't you worry, there's replay. That's what we love about that app and our website. You can replay that anytime, right? Uh, okay, then, um, the next one that I do is this detox clay. So I'll do the exfoliator first because I want to get off that yuckiness. And then I stick on something good to kind of just, um, again, this is a detoxifier. So toxins, the bad stuff we've got, um, just that comes with the environment and everything else. So again, I leave these on at least 15 minutes. I probably honestly do a half hour and I've never had a problem with them leaving them on too long. So just a heads up there. So grab this little guy too. And this one is, this is mine. And it is kind of um, like a clay color. All right. So this, no, the Sunday. Well, I might be here Sunday afternoon. Um, we have a tournament this week. This is my, okay, tonight. This is just so you know what I got going on this week. Tonight I have visitation um, from 3.30. Tomorrow we have the funeral from 9 until like at least four or five. Then we got to get to Omaha, acts as a game, or no, Lincoln, a baseball game at eight o'clock in Lincoln. I was supposed to be at the Lizzo concert tomorrow night. I had to cancel that. Saturday, he has a game at noon. We have a family wedding at four, three thirty-four. Then we have, a, he has another game at four o'clock, a baseball game. And um, yeah, then we have that family wedding all day um, the rest of Saturday. And so Sunday, I don't know where I'm going to be. <laughs> Depends how baseball goes, I guess. But yeah, so anybody want, I should probably write all that down. I'm going to forget something, right? Okay, so that's that in a nutshell on all that good stuff. I think I got all that. Okay, let's go to makeup real quick here. Uh, so the, I found a new secret, you guys. And I remember this. This came back to me. I don't know how it, things come back to me, but sometimes, thankfully, they do. Okay, so we're going to do this new concealer. We're going to start there. If I can get this open. Uh, actually, hold on. You guys, if you saw this mess, you would understand why I'm struggling here. Here we go. Okay, this little brush is new, okay? This is what we call a concealer brush. How great is this? Okay, so let me find this guy first. Marge, I will call you um, when I get in my car. How about that? 
because I got to go to Carney to pick up a um, another prescription. Yep. So not great. Um, okay. So this little concealer brush. All right. So it's kind of got a nice little angle to it. And it, I like that it's thicker uh, because when you're putting concealer on, I want it to be a little bit of a heavier coverage. That's the whole point of concealer to cover up your bags, redness, whatever the situation is. If I could get this open, that would help. Oh my God. Well, this is mine, so. Oh my gosh. Because I ordered myself one. Okay, here we go. So you gotta take the wrapper off, people, all right? Which I know you'll figure that out. I got Smarties in the house. Okay, so the color that I got everybody was light. For the simple fact that the medium, even on myself, is a little bit dark, and you guys are, most of you, I feel like are a little bit lighter than most of you. So we're gonna go with the light, and I'm just gonna squirt it onto this brush here, okay? Why I like this concealer is it's a little bit thicker. And I said that earlier. Uh, I just like that it's thicker because I feel like it gets a better coverage. Uh, Cenogens also does not sit in your um, wrinkles, your fine line and wrinkles. Because there's concealers I've used before that if it's too heavy and it just doesn't have the right thickness, it'll like make it look worse, I swear. Okay, so I'm just gonna come in. Okay, so I the, bar, the um, brush up right now is this little guy. And he's this fun little concealer brush, okay? You can use it for other things if you want to, but I just, the shape of it is great to get under your eyes like this, okay? And then I kind of, I kind of come down like this because as you can see, I get a little red too. Uh, I don't know what that's about. So I just kind of bring it down like that. I think a lot of us do, just not have like a, a natural skin tone sometimes. Uh, okay, so let me pull up the... Here we go. So this is the light color of concealer that I have up right now on the screen. So again, I think we do have this in medium. I honestly did not stick it in and I should have to the show today because I could do medium if I wanted to, but I just think light kind of will brighten my face up a little bit more and I think it'll work best for a lot of you. So I just brought back the light. Also, this is a new container thing. Um, they used to be in this squirt bottle. I don't like those at all, so I'm so glad they changed it and um, made it this little pump. Okay, so that is your concealer. That's up right now. And you can kind of see, you'll see when I put my foundation on, just how good that covered up um, my dark bags. Okay, so next up then, we are gonna go, okay, girls, holler at me. I'm, I'm good morning, Sherry, good morning, good morning. Yes, um, Sherry, thank you for your sweet message yesterday too. I know, we, um, Grandma Karen, we knew, she moved to me, um, gosh, probably a year, time flies. It's probably been a year. Maybe not quite. Um, and she has not been happy there. It has not been a great place. If you want to know my honest opinion about it, I would not send any of my family members there. Um, but uh, so she just has not been happy for a while. So she's in a better place. She There's so many people waiting in heaven for her. So she's she's in a better place. So I'm just trying to focus on that and, and think of that, about it that way. Yes. And she was 83. So she did have a good life. Okay, uh, so let's go to, we're going to go, this is how I've been doing my foundation, you guys. This is my new secret. I just have to find it. Where did it go? It's here somewhere. Okay. Okay, yes. Got it. All right. Make sense. When I talk about make sense, this is like, it's kind of like a Cenogen's primer kind kind of like a bb cream like a corrective cream so it's not a foundation but it's not um just a bb cream either okay it's got the best part about it it hides redness it has anti-aging properties in it so it does have a skincare in it as well and um it is i feel like a little bit thicker which i like that and here's why so what i've been doing is i have been taking this you guys i forgot to shut my phone off so all that dinging is messages <laughs> Uh, yeah, sorry. I forgot to um, hit airplane mode. Dang it. Uh, anyway. All right. So here we go. This is the, and I use the medium deep, you guys. Uh, but again, I'm a little bit darker. And if I'm spray tanning, that is why I use a little bit darker or doing my sunless tanner. Um, that's why I do a little bit darker. 
I think medium is going to be plenty dark for most of you. I do think we have a medium deep left at the store um, that should be up here. So that's the one I'm using today. Medium and light is going to be really good for you. And there's even a light medium. So if you feel like you're kind of in between, go with that light medium. Girls, I didn't grab all that to show you today because it's so much to haul back and forth. But um, if you need help on a color, let me know and I'm happy to help you. But this is meant to, like all this redness is going to disappear and um, just kind of give me a nice, uh, nice neutral finish across my face. Okay, nice and smooth. So I take a daub of that. All right. And then I come back in with my foundation. Okay, and that is right here, anti-aging foundation. Okay, however, you know what? I actually need to change that because this is the oil-free version. So it's really not anti-aging because they changed it to just make sense is what it's called. So don't let that confuse you. Um, this is the only kind I bring in is the oil-free kind because the other kind just, I felt like made people oily and I didn't want that. So this is the only foundation style I bring in on Cinegens and it is the best. Most of you are gonna be dewy. If you're not sure, message me, but the majority of everybody honestly can be dewy. Uh, dewy matches you three shades up and three shades down. All of our foundations do. So even if we're not like we don't nail it, it will still, as you let it set, it will still match your skin tone. It's crazy. I don't know how it works. They're like unicorns, but it, it really works. So the color I've been using is this Cafe Latte, and I don't know if I'm saying that right, but that's what I use. Um, I've used suede too, that's really good, but as summer's coming, I have went to the darker colors. Um, I can get by with dewy in the winter, uh, and then the next step up is fawn that I really like, or tan. So again, happy to help you with shades though, and all of that should be kind of on our app, the colors. Uh, so then I'm gonna just take a squirt of this guy, okay? So I've got a squirt of each one. I did a squirt of the, um, the color corrective tinted moisturizer and then I did foundation okay and this is my five minute makeup I just mix it up okay like so and I'm gonna put it on here and I just take I'm just using the end of one of my makeup brushes, you guys okay like so get all that covered up and then I take it off of my hand too now just don't forget you guys you are going to um I have to wash this off. This is going to be here. Like it will be here that I forgot to wash it off one day. And I, at the end of the day, I was like, what the heck's on my hand? It was still my foundation because the stuff stays. Okay. So that's the foundations. Now, if you guys need something to put foundation on with, um, there's this little makeup puff right here. Okay. This works great, um, for your foundation. I forgot to get mine out. A minute. Gotta dig it out of my disaster here. Okay noise there's a noise outside so this is mine okay and so when you put it on you just kind of go like so I like the shape of it because it can go up under your eye okay so you can get it um kind of up by kind of tight up in here and that's why I kind of like this little guy it works pretty darn good so I just try to burn it dude he's mad he can't get up on the bed he has this chair and if the chair turns he can't get up on the bed and then he just sits there and growls and waits for somebody to help him. <laughs> He's a turd. Okay, so, and then come up here and do your eye. Okay, like so. And get up on your eyelid. And then I'm gonna come down and cover up my red nose. Okay, like so. And yeah, this is great because this doesn't soak up much of your foundation either. So you can kind of see there's a little bit on there, but um, the reason why I don't like sponges and things like that is I just feel like you're wasting all your expensive foundation. So this one doesn't soak it up. Look at that. There's hardly anything on there. So this works really good. Again, I just like it because you can get way up in here that is a little bit hard to if you have nails on. Okay, so that is my foundation cover then so it will dry I'm going to give it a minute here to just sit because it does change color a little bit to match your face even better okay so again I just mix foundation with that color corrective moisturizer okay hang on this dog's gonna drive me nuts all right okay well squirt Okay, so that's that. Then we're going to come back in with a powder. Now, the color that I have been using for powder is medium. I've been using that for a really long time. I tried deep. Nobody's going to need deep. It is way too dark. Way too dark. Um, so you're not going to need that. So light is a great option. And we did restock that, you guys. Uh, but I did not remember the count. So when I was getting ready for the show, 
I, it did not get added in. So make sure you wait list anything that you missed out on today that you want, because I will be able to, there's a few things at the store that I have not got added in. Okay. So, um, so yes. Okay. Now, so you're going to take your powder brush. I'm going to go to that really quick, actually, because I stuck those in here. Okay. This is the black set. All right. And it comes in a bag and there are like 18, I don't know what I did with all mine, but they come in this big bag. There's tons of them in here. There are, I want to say, hold on, let me see. Well, shoot. It doesn't say. I think there's 18. There's it on the app. It says how many brushes come in there, but I use this one for my powder. Okay. So you just take this little guy and if you're low on this, like mine is kind of low, you just got to shake it and you tip it upside down and then your powder will come out. Okay. So just like so. And again, I'm using the medium, but I kind of recommend you guys, um, either light or medium is going to be good for most of you. I think kind of depends on how you do in the summer. If you feel like you're outside a lot in the summertime, I would maybe do the medium. Uh, but otherwise you're going to be good with the light as well. Okay, so just kind of come right in around there. Do under those eyes, that nose, other side of the forehead, like so. Okay, voila. All right, there you go. So you can kind of see, like that is just a really nice, pretty finish. Uh, and as it sets a little bit, it'll look even better here. I always feel like once it sets five, 10 minutes, it looks better. Uh, but yeah, you guys, that's just kind of a really nice, it just looks really nice and smooth. It doesn't look like a cakey, uh, foundation mix at all. Uh, but it definitely covers my redness and it covers, um, just all my, my freckles and all the things. Okay. So this is a great powder too. It does have skincare in it. 16. Thank you, Kylie. 16. Thank you. I can't keep all this stuff straight. Um, it does have skincare in it as well, and it doesn't sit in those fine lines and wrinkles by your eyes. So that's great also. Okay. And then, oh, I have something in my eyeball. Okay. Then we're going to do this new blush. Okay. This is beautiful. I'm so excited. So they changed this as well. So blush for Synergis used to come in this little tube and it was hard to use. It squirted out all over and that's why I stopped bringing it in. They changed it finally. And um, now it's in this cute little guy here. I'll find him. Dun, dun, dun. Where are we at? Blush. Here it is. Okay. It comes in this little pumper. Okay. So just like so. And then um, I'm going to take, this is my blush brush. It's uh, the one I've used from Cynogens forever and ever and ever. I probably need to get a new one, but I just keep using it. So I'm just going to put, instead of putting it on my brush, I'm going to put it on my cheek this time because you guys, this stuff lasts um, forever because you literally need, oh, come on, baby. I can't get it. It's a new one. <laughs> come on, honey. Do I got to turn it the right way. Um, you will not run out of this probably. The heck's the deal? Maybe I just have to pump it more times. Oh, there she comes. Okay, so if this is a beautiful blush color for those of you who don't want anything too much. Um, it is toasted rose is the color and that's exactly what it looks like. It's a little bit brown, but a little bit pink. Um, and truly, honestly, like on myself, I probably need something a little bit with more color, but I thought for a lot of you, this will be a perfect shade. So I'm just gonna show you what it looks like on me. But again, I have a little bit more olivey, darker skin tone. So I would, I use the terracotta in this and I did get some of that. So I'll show you that one next time. But this one will be a really good one for most, the majority of you. And actually it is showing up better than I thought on myself. So uh, I haven't used it in forever. Ooh, this is fun. Okay, so I just take, when I do my blush, I just bring it right up here on my cheekbone. Okay, so just like so. And you guys keep in mind, I do this in my little phone. So not the best setup, but you guys get the idea and then Hopefully you'll tell me if I look like a clown. Okay, so how good is that? That is a really, really, really pretty color. And I think this is gonna be a great one for all of you to just grab um, whenever you need your blush, okay? And so take just a little tiny dot uh, and yep, just do a few little dabs and then you're gonna take your brush and then you're gonna fix it up, okay? So just wham, bam. All right, that's easy enough. Okay, so that's loaded up, ready to go. Then um, last but not least, you guys know I have to do my eyebrows. Like it is non-negotiable. You got to do your eyebrows. Uh, okay, so even if you guys literally, this is a five minute makeup for me. If I was doing this at home without um, showing you all this, oh, I would have been done in five minutes. No joke, not kidding. 
Uh, so then I'm going to take this. This is our brow sense. And I just come in. I kind of um, shape my eyebrows a little bit like so. And then this is a newer bottle for me. So I'm using Blonde Taupe. I'm going to be 100% honest. I like soft brown on myself better. I'm going to use this one up. We were out of soft brown, so I had to grab this one. Uh, but I think with my dark, dark roots, I just need a little bit darker. So Blonde Taupe, I would recommend for somebody without this darkness. And soft brown if you're kind of my skin, my hair color. Okay? Because this is good, but I just feel like it could be a little bit darker. Um but it is a beautiful color, especially if you're more blonde. Okay, so I just kind of come in and do a little shape there, and then you can kind of like fill in. And usually I'll let it set too because it just dries uh, and then it looks a little bit different, and I just kind of always go back. So I just let it set for a second. I'll come to the other eye, but you guys look at my face right now. Seriously, if you think brows are not important, just look, okay? This side has so much more shape and just, I feel like my features stick out a little bit more on this side when the eyebrow's done. And then this side is just there. I don't know. And maybe it's just because I've been trained to think that way, but I really feel like it makes a big difference, you guys. Okay, so then we're gonna do the other side. Like so. And this is something that stays all day. You will not have to fix it. Um, and again, if you want it a little bit darker yet, you can come back in and kind of fill in just those certain spots do you want it a little bit heavier? Some of you do that, um, I don't know what it's called, where you like make the front not as dark. I don't do any of that. I don't know what that's called. But um, anyway, okay. And then see, I stare at them and now I don't think they look right, but they're probably fine. I'm gonna not look at them for a minute. Um, we all know, I've told this many times, brows are sisters, not twins. So they should not be perfectly matched. Um, Yes, but as long as they are close. And the more you stare at them, I feel like the worse it gets. So I'm going to leave them and I'll come back to it if I need to. <laughs> okay, that is brows. So now uh, we have stuff that's for red hair. We have um, really dark hair colors as well. So all those are loaded under the brow um, Cinegens tab, okay? And again, if you need help, please reach out. I'm happy to, to help you. Okay, new lip color. I have been dying to show you guys this. And it finally came. Good morning, Lisa Holloway. How are you this morning? Doreen, how are you? Doreen, are you back? Um, I want to hear about your vacation. And also, um, how was your vacation? Yes, I want to know that. And if you're, I think you're back now, aren't you? You just had a few weeks left. So hopefully you're back to us in good old Nebraska. Uh, ombre brows. There you go. Thank you, Kylie. I knew there was a fancy word and it was not coming to me. Perfect. Okay, ladies, so I'm stoked about this. This is a new Cinegens product. It's called Hydra Matte. You guys, this eyelash is making me crazy. Uh, anyway, long-lasting matte lip color. Okay, so all Cinegens lipstick wears literally all day long. It's sometimes on the next day also. This one, however, is matte. So for those of you who love matte like I do, but it's not drying. Uh, Cinegens had a matte style that came out a while ago and it didn't do well because it was too drying. So this is their new version and literally I've been waiting forever because it keeps selling out. So it finally showed up and okay, so here we're gonna go. I'm gonna try it, I've never tried it before, um, but I'm super stoked. So when you put on Cinegens, you wanna try to go one direction, okay, for lip color. And if you guys haven't tried it, I really, I love our A-list colors too. Don't get me wrong. I use those just as much as I use Cinegens. But summertime, I gravitate more towards Cinegens because I feel like it's a little bit more moisturizing um, if you're out in the sun and those kind of things. And it does have a little bit more sun protection. So I kind of summertime rotate more towards Cinegens products. So you'll kind of see me using those more. Uh, uh, oh, helps if I hit my lips. Oh, it feels good. Ah, okay. So when I do this, you guys, you know what else would be really pretty? We are getting more lip liners and I got a brown color. And so if you outline with brown with this, <gasps> that would be really pretty. Okay. Oh my gosh. Mm. So you guys, this is weird. It feels like wet. I don't know how to explain it. It does feel like really moisturizing and wet. But you guys, this is a really pretty neutral color. Is this not gorgeous? So it's called Nude Honey. Did I click on it? Oh my gosh, I didn't even click on it. Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, nude Honey. And how pretty is that? You know what? It kind of reminds me of our A-list Grand Canyon uh, color, but in a Cinegens product. And 
it just feels really good. I don't know how to explain it. It's pretty great. Oh my goodness, I'm loving it. Okay, so Hydromat is what this is called. Um, I did stick all the info into the app description as well, so you can kind of read um, about it. But, and if you want, now I can do, I am digging this just natural look for today. Um, I'm not even gonna mess with my eyes at all until later, so I have to go to that visitation. So this is my natural look for the day. Um, and this literally would be a five minute makeup if I wasn't on here talking. So if you wanna make this a little darker though, I love it honestly with just this one swipe. Um, but if you wanted to make it a little darker, you can always go another one. Like so, and just let it sit. And you do not need a gloss with this. So Cynogens, usually we use glosses on top of it. If you want it to be shiny or a little bit more moisture, this one you do not need a gloss. That's why it's so great. Um, and all of the Cynogens products, don't forget, even though they are a little pricey, they are pricier, they have skincare in them. So they're much better for you than what you're buying at the drugstore, okay? Um, but that is really pretty. Oh my gosh, love it. Okay, that's fabulous. Everybody needs that. It's a good little neutral. And again, you could always add, if you want to pop a little bit more color, make it look darker, do a dark liner. I might do that tonight. That'll be really pretty. Okay, love it. Awesome. So yeah, we got new blush. We got new lips. And then my foundation hack of mixing it with our color um, moisturizer. So hot dog. Okay, we did good, you guys. Anybody have any questions? I have one more thing to show you. Okay, this, you guys, uh, Marge was in the other day. And she had not seen this. And I was like, girlfriend, where have you been? I can't believe I'm failing. I've not talked to you about this. So I, we restocked these. This is, oh, I wish I would have brought mine. I have it in my purse. But you guys, literally, this cleans your rings up like I'm telling you. It's good. So uh, if you go grab one of your rings, and we have a tester at the store. So if you want to come in and try it, it's right by the counter. But all you do is it's a pen. It looks like a pen. I don't want to use this one because it's new, but um, it looks like a pen. A great little gift idea too. And you take the top off and you just twist it and the goo will come out at the top and there's a nice little brush on there, uh, like so. And so you just twist this bottom and then it comes out the top and it's like a jewelry cleaner solution. And so you just clean your ring with it. If you are around water, you can put it under the water. That works too, but honestly, I don't ever. And it just shines everything right on up. I'm telling you. It looks like you just left the jeweler after they put it in the hot thing. You know what I'm talking about? So grab this great little gift idea too for your girlfriends or whatever. And then the other thing I forgot to tell you guys about was this I grabbed. Um, Kylie was at the store the other day and she's like, Amanda, you need to take one of those home. Maybe that'll help your sinuses. So I did, but I just haven't had a chance to like sit in my shower and use it. Uh, so these are great little gift ideas too. Um, let's get steamy. They are these little, oh, I probably can't show you. Darn it. They're wrapped up, but they're little, um, disc and they have essential oils in them, jasmine and vanilla. And they're supposed to kind of help. Yeah. Clear your sinuses. Good for, um, just, they smell good relaxation, those kind of things. So that's kind of in the skincare realm. And then last but not least, I did stick in the, um, patches because you guys, I stinking love these things. And I want you all to try them. They're all loaded up. We have different ones. Uh, this one is kind of the mixed set. We are all out of the ones with the CBD in them. I need to restock those. But we do have these that have essential oils. And you guys, I've used this Focus one, and it works so good. Okay, it's like brain power. It helps your concentration. Uh, it is fantastic. I love it. So I've been using that one in the energy, and I'm out of the energy one, so I'm using the Focus. And they work just as well. Okay, so these just are botanical. Again, there's no CBD in any of um, these that have a front with like flowers on them. They are all essential oil based. Okay, no CBD. Uh, and so there's lots of different ones. There's um, relax, there's sleep and all. This is like a mixed one. So you get to try one of each. But otherwise, if you find one you love and you want just a box of that, we have that as well. Okay, so they're just super fun. Another good little gift idea for somebody. So, okay, you guys. Yep, so you just throw that. You're right, Kylie. Throw it in the bottom of your shower and enjoy the steam. You are exactly right. Yes, 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 girl. Okay, you guys. Hey, Amy, thanks for hanging with us. Can you still... Um, Sherry, if you want to use gloss with it, yes, you absolutely can. Uh, you absolutely can, for sure. I think it's just um, a lot of the the influencers and a lot of the big makeup people love matte. Uh, and so I think that's why they're trying to bring out some new matte products because it's so popular in the makeup realm. Uh, but if you want it to be shiny and want to use gloss, you absolutely can. Yes. hundred percent. Yes. 
Okay, let's see. What days are the you with the sort of color match swimming for makeup? Carrie, um, you know what, girl? If you want to, if you just message, if you have me on anything personal, I'm on Instagram as um, what am I? The blonde boss dot a list, or you can just look up Amanda Schultz, S H U L T Z. That's my maiden name. Um, and then I'll pop up. You can message me that way, or send a message to the store with your cell number, and I'll text you, and um, we can set up a time. Okay, um, this week I can't say I'm gonna be around because I got all this funeral stuff. So, uh, but next week I could definitely hook you up, okay? Um, if that works for you. And I'll even come in if the store isn't open, I can come in and do it too. So just send a message to one of those places and with your phone number and I'll message you. Okay, sister? Um, Because I would love to help you. And we have most, I have all the colors of the foundation at the store now. I'm making sure we have those stocked at all times because a lot of you keep coming back. And so now that I know it's rolling, I'm going to keep it all in stock because it is the best. It really is. Okay, perfect. Didn't have Bella Forever Mascara. Didn't you have Bella Forever Mascara? Um, Dorothy, no, I, I don't use mascara at all, honestly, because I have these lash extensions, which I need to give them up. Um, honestly, Cenogens just came out with lashes. I did order a pack. Um, and so I want somebody at the store to try them, Jen or Jody or somebody to try them. And, um, I'm going to see how that goes. Uh, and then if I just give up my lash extensions, cause they're expensive and time consuming and maintenance. But, um, once you have them, you get you can't let them go. But these new ones that Cenogens brought out are supposed to be amazing. So I did buy a pack for the girls to try and we're gonna try that. But as far as um, mascara, Dorothy, I don't have any of that, but I do. Ha we still have our lashes. I don't know necessarily if that's what you're meaning. Um, cause I have never talked about mascara just because I don't use it. So I have not much help in that department, but if you're looking for lashes, we still do have some of those. This is the set that is, um, a little bit thicker. No, sorry. This is the thick set. Absolutely. Now, Dorothy, you, if you want tips on mascara, I can send you to my daughter because that girl got blessed with lashes. Not quite like I have, but she's got like the best lashes. And so that girl knows what mascara works. So if you need suggestions, I can ask her and send it to you because she, she's got figured out. Um, but this is, if you do need lashes, I'm telling you, it does take your look up a notch. It really does. Uh, and so this is the thick set that I just clicked on. They're a little bit bolder look. The liner in here is magnetic. So you're not even gonna need a, a liner at all to put across here if you're using this. You just stick your lash on top of it and that's how it holds down. You do not use glue. This is so much better than glue. If you are using glue lashes, throw them in a trash can, okay? I need to get these. It works so much better. Um, cause this is what I use before I start doing my lashes. Now the set I just stuck up is more of a natural looking set, not as heavy and not as bold. Um, I don't have it here with me today, but, um, that is, that will, um, be for your starter people who just want to try out lashes, but don't want anything super bold, um, and are new to it. Maybe start with that set. Okay. All right, you guys. Perfect. Um, okay, ladies. Oh, I got to get myself a move in here. So everybody have a great rest of your day. Uh, it looks like it's going to be beautiful again. I think maybe a little bit of rain, but my gosh, these last few days we've had have been gorgeous, haven't they? So, okay. I'm going to leave my best till I get back home. Um, I'm running to pick up my prescription. So everybody have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, I will catch you on the flip side. Jody's going to join you tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Um, while I'm at that funeral, she's going to bring you a fabulous little live and you guys need to tune in because she's doing something special. Okay. So everybody hop on over there and see her at 10 AM tomorrow. Otherwise, if you guys have questions on this makeup, please reach out to me. I love to help people with this. It's like my passion. That's honestly what got me started with A-List. I sold makeup and I saved up. Um, and that's how I started A-List. So it, it does have a special place in my heart, the beauty line. So let me know if you guys need anything. Um, thanks for being here with me. Replay if you uh, missed any of the first part, so you kind of get it all um, figured out, but happy to help with anything I can. So everybody have a wonderful day. Be safe. Um, Yes, and thanks for being here with me.